I've watched various reviews of Tascam Porta Capture. Here I have the X6. And they're all very helpful, except they leave out one tiny thing that you might want to know. This thing is junk, complete freaking junk. It's obviously designed by a committee of empty suits. It's atrocious. Is Tascam trying to harvest tax losses? Is Tascam run by bankruptcy lawyers looking to have some fun? I mean, seriously. Now, I know you think I'm just being negative, and I'm sorry, Tascam. But I want to point out that I own, the, I'm the proud owner of a DR05. I'm the proud owner of a DR60D. I'm the super proud owner of a DR70D, which I love. But this thing came out 10 years ago. We'll get to that. When I was 18 and they came out with the first four track, sort of like mini recording studio cassette player, oh man, did I want one of those. So yeah, TIAC and Tascam, they are special words to me. So I'd love to go easy on you, Tascam, really. But you cross the line and I am really annoyed. Why? Where did you cross the line? I'll show you. This. This is where Tascam has crossed the line with me and I bet a lot of other Tascam owners. What is it? It's an empty hole. A hole I'm afraid to, to uncover because it might take off my fingernail. I mean, I tried, but you know, I'm not gonna, like I said, rip off a fingernail just for YouTube. If I did take it off and spend another $40, I could get a Bluetooth dongle so I could talk to this device through my phone. What world are you living in, Tascam? I mean, it's mind blowing. You think you have such a killer device here that someone is going to pay 40 extra dollars for your cruddy Bluetooth dongle? More to the point, Bluetooth is in everything these days. I can buy earbuds. I bought, I can get these, I bought these earbuds, $20 with automatic noise cancellation, everything. And it would cost you like a dollar, because I know something about electronics. It costs you like a dollar to put Bluetooth in here. But no, you believe Bluetooth is some luxury? It's included in almost every new device I own, and yet you want $40 from me to get it and lose a freaking fingernail to boot? So yeah, no pity, enjoy your bankruptcy. Why would I want a company to survive who thinks more about getting another $40 out of me than building a superior product? Because you know what? You've built many superior products. And I know, as I've showed you what I already own, this thing is worse than my 70D, which is almost 10 years old now. I wish I was joking. I can't believe it myself. And I bet everyone watching this, this video who has both these devices is nodding their heads in agreement. If any of you disagree, please let me know in the comments. I'm not trying to put you out of business, Tascam. Indeed, if any of you out there want to get a great war input recorder, they still make this. And I can highly recommend it. I've done many podcasts on this thing. And for the price, this thing is a beast. Now, what could they have done with Porta Capture? Well, like a, foot, a, a full touchscreen video uh, menu that really works. Let me just turn this on. I'm going to show you something that I still cannot wrap my head around. Now, this device came out in January. It's September. And they still haven't released a firmware upgrade. So... If I go into menu, here I am in the launcher, right? If I, let's say I go down to microphone, I'm like oh, I just wanna do like a quick microphone recording of myself. Now, I'm not a fan. You should be able to choose bars or this thing, but let alone, you go into this menu. Can you click on it and get back to the main menu? No, I'm not, it's amazing to me. You can't click on any of these apps and go back to that main menu. You have to click on this hard button down here 
Click on Launcher to get back to that menu. <laughs> so what could they have done to make this better? One, a full touch screen menu that works. Alerts, like if you set the level to something that it might say, oh, your gain seems too high, or, you know, remember to hit record if you really want to record. Again, Bluetooth internal. They should have put removable mics into mini XLR connectors up here. That way you could have four, right? You could have two regular XLRs and two mini. That would be like forward thinking. These things are so cheesy and so horrible. And they only go like this direction, that direction, they go this direction, but they don't go, you can't like make them both point towards you. Why not? They should both be able to go like that. You can't move that one like that. Like, so if you want to just talk like that, you gotta look like that. Or you, I guess you could, it just, this appears, ugh. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's not better than we just had them fixed in here like this. Like, does this really make a difference when you're moving these around like this? I don't think so. Anyway, that's what I would have done. The other thing is that, again, functionally, when you want to record audio, no difference between these two things. The quality is the same. 32-bit float, I've done other videos about that. That's a complete racket, just ignore it. Okay, so it's the same thing in both things. The only thing you could do with this thing that you can't do with this thing is software. That's where the world is. This should have a built-in spectrum analyzer, RMS data analyzer, all kinds of statistics about your audio. It should have a visual clapper on this that you could point to the camera and it would show the time code and what thing you're doing. You could put on your phone, oh, I'm doing scene three of my whatever and show it on this and do that. You know, it could have something like that. You could have the ability that you could say, do the auto gain after five, 10 seconds. You could say, oh, you click on this voicing and it says, oh, talk for five seconds, ba 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 ba. I suggest that we set the gain at blah, 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 12 decibels or whatever. Fine, like something like that. Secondly, a separate USB power. They have a USB thing here to connect to the computer. Why not a second one for power only? It just blows my mind. On the other side, they have an internal external mic in. How about two of these suckers for two different mics? You know, I don't know how about just a switch? For, uh, anyway. My recommendation, not that I think this will save you, is put every dollar you can cobble together into software engineering task cam. This thing is an embarrassment. It is, it, it is simply like, it's like pooping all over this thing. All this great equipment you've come out with over the years. So get the money for software engineering. Send out free Bluetooth adapters to everyone with one of these devices. Now, I don't want one, by the way, so you can save money on me and bring out a version two as soon as possible. You remove these crappy goddamn mics and put, you know, something else up there. Actually, I, nothing would be better than those things. I, I, I wish I was joking. As for those who say, what else could Tascam do? Well, first look at the new TR7 from Teenage Engineering. That's original thinking. Why couldn't Tascam make this wheel a scrubbing wheel so you could quickly move backwards and forwards through your recording? Why? Well, actually, you know, maybe they did it. Let's, let's just do a test here. I'm going to go to record. I'm going to hit record. So this is my test recording. And uh, right on, while I'm talking to YouTube, I'm going to go see if I can scrub around with the wheel when I go to play. Okay, so I'm going to hit stop. Hit stop. Now, now, again, like I said, for me to go back to that menu to play it, I have to hit menu, go to launcher, Go to play. I think it's this one. Yeah, the touch screen doesn't, it doesn't work very well, by the way. Come on. I mean, I'm not exaggerating how bad this thing is. And it's amazing to me. There's so many YouTubers that do these reviews on this thing. And it's like, they just cannot, they just cannot say. <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, maybe I'll do SD. No, that's not going to work because that's the USB thing. Disconnect. All right, this, I'm going to cut this out. Let's try one more time. Finally.
All right, here's my video. Play. Now, this wheel does nothing. 10 seconds, mark, loop, speed, key. Up. Look, I hit the speed key because I want to go up. You should be able to go to me the wheel to change the speed key. The software on this stuff, it's like it, it, if you want, like they should take this device in colleges and put it in a case as like a sample of everything what not to do in software development. <laughs> I mean, it's literally, it's literally as if, ugh. anyway, I've said enough. Let me repeat again. I own lots of Tascam stuff. Tascam is a special place in my heart. I still love my 70D. Love it. And uh, it's very sad that whoever's running Tascam now, they need, I, I just wish somebody would just show them the door. I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's VC Venture Capital, but I don't think Tascam's going to make it. I, I, I just don't. I mean, they'll be sold, broken up for parts. They obviously, they're out of creative juice, and it's just very sad. But I feel somebody has to tell you it is that bad. Sorry. All right. Till later. Bye.